In this video, Cresco International will demonstrate a customer basket analysis model using SPSS Modular. A supermarket has customers, historic purchase data describing the contents of supermarket baskets. Also, the supermarket can have customers' basic demographic data such as age, gender, and income through membership cards. The goal of this model is to discover groups of customers who buy similar products and identify their demographic characteristics. Let's get started in SPSS Modeler. First, we use the variable file node. Connect to the example dataset, basket1n. Then, connect a type node to the data source. Once we have the type node, we can see the basket summary data, some personal details of the cardholders, and basket contents data. Set the measurement level of card ID to typeless, because we will not use this field in our model. Set the role of the fields to be used to both. Both means that the field can be either an input or an output of the resultant model. Now we have an a priori node to produce association rules. Select the option only true values for flags and click run on the a priori node. The result contains some association rules. These rules show a variety of associations between frozen meals, canned vegetables, and beer. Next, we want to use web display to highlight some of the patterns in this data. Attach a web node to the type node. Edit the web node. Select all the basket contents fields. Select show true flags only and click run on the web node. We can adjust the parameters in this control panel to highlight strong connections. In the resulting display, three groups of customers stand out. Those who buy fish and fruits and vegetables, who might be called healthy eaters. Those who buy wine and confectionery. Those who buy beer, frozen food, and canned vegetables can be called beer, beans, and pizza. Next, we will generate derived node from the three groups. This can be automatically generated using the web display that you just created. Click the link between fruit, veg, and fish to highlight it. Then right-click and select Generate Derived Node for Link. Edit the resulting derived node to change the derived field name to Healthy, and make sure Derive as Flag Type. Then repeat the same step with the other two groups. After we identified three groups of customers based on the types of products they buy, we would also like to know who these customers are. This can be achieved by using the Role Induction Mode C5.0 to build rule-based profiles of these flags. To profile these customer groups, connect the existing type node to these three derived nodes in the series, and then attach another type node. In the new type node, set the role of all fields to none, except for value, method, sex, home own, income, and age, which should be set to input, and the relevant customer group, for example, beer, beans, pizza, which should be set to target. Attach a C5.0 node, set the output type to rule set, and click run on the node. The resultant model for beer, beans, and pizza group contains a clear demographic profile for this customer group. The same method can be applied to the other two customer groups by selecting them as the output in the second type node. In the retail domain, such customer groupings might be used to target special offers to improve the response rates to direct mailings or to customize the range of products stopped by a branch to match the demands of its demographic base. If you want to know more retail analytics model using SPSS Modeler, contact us at Cresco International.